Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime, and I want you to know that this problem here is so much simpler than it looks. Um, algebra has the reputation of being hard, but I think that's only because of how it looks. It looks sometimes like visual vomit, but as it turns out, a lot of times and we have actually less work to do in algebra than we would in arithmetic. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so first of all, this problem just says simplify. What is it asking me to do? Well, this is what I want you to notice. I see this big, long, ugly number. Okay, I know it has letters in it, I know it looks gross, but it's still, can you see it as one big, long, ugly number, negative two x cubed y squared z to the fourth power, and it's multiplying. See how those two things are shoved together with only parentheses between them? That means multiply. So it's multiplying with this big, long, ugly number, five x y cubed z. Now, students who panic right now are panicking for the wrong reason. You guys are panicking because you're like, what do I do with X and Y and Z and I don't know what they are and what should I do? And here's really good news. You don't have to figure out what X and Y and Z are. All you have to do is do the multiplication that can be done and then walk away. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, remember that a number like this, an algebraic expression, when things are just shoved together like this, is already multiplying. So this number, yes, it's negative 2x cubed y squared z to the fourth, but what does that mean? That means negative 2 is multiplying with x to the third power, which is multiplying with y to the second power, which is multiplying with z to the fourth power. Same thing with this number over here. This number is also made of four things multiplying, a 5, an x, a y cubed, and a z. And so the great news is I can multiply in any order I want, and I'm going to do that to make my life easy. First, I'm going to multiply together all my coefficients, my numbers out front. So let's do that. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Now I'm going to multiply together all my x's. Okay, and order doesn't really matter with the variables, okay guys, with the letters, you know, but we usually do it in alphabetical order, so I'll do my x's first. So what does x to the third power mean? Well, x to the third power literally means that x is multiplying by itself three times, x times x times x. Okay, and then so I already had three x's multiplying, and now here's another one, a fourth x. And so now I have a total of four x's multiplying, I will use the fourth power. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with y's. Let me grab up a different color. Let's try blue for the y's, just so you can see what I mean. So y squared means I already had two y's multiplying, and y cubed now means I have three y's multiplying. Well, that's a total of one, two, three, four, five y's multiplying. And so I'll just shove on a little y to the fifth power. And now let's go gather up our z's. Let's uh, look at a different color there. So here I had z four z's multiplying. That's what z to the fourth power means. And now I'm multiplying in a fifth z. And so that'll be one, two, three, four, five z's or z to the fifth power. And this is done. <laughs> what is the final answer? Well, this is as simplified as it's going to get. It's just negative 10 x to the fourth, y to the fifth, z to the fifth. Okay, all you have to do is multiply together the coefficients, the numbers out front. And then count up how many of each of the variables we now have multiplying. We have a total of 4x's multiplying, a total of 5y's multiplying, and a total of 5z's multiplying. And that is it. I'm going to write use exponents for repeated multiplication. Remember, exponents mean repeated multiplication. That's why I do this when I'm multiplying, not when I'm adding or subtracting. Okay, awesome. Um, so, final answer is, I'll just say one more time, negative 10x to the fourth, y to the fifth, z to the fifth. If you have any questions about this or any other math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.